Hey guys, this is Electric Pop Tart 18, and here I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to use the program YYCHR to create your own custom graphics for a Super Mario World ROM hack. Now, you will need this program here. This is called Lunar Magic. You will also need YYCHR, of course, and you also need a Super Mario World ROM. Uh, you can find all these on the internet on the internet pretty easily. Um, so I won't go into how to find those, but, um, now before I actually show you guys things, I first want to go over the two types of graphics files that Super Mario World ROMs can use. Um, the first type is what is known as GFX files, which stands for graphics, and the other is what is known as EXGFX files, which stands for EX, oh, excuse me, extended graphics. Um, I used to think that there wasn't too much of a difference between them um, and that's true to an extent but they differ they do differ uh, really in how the files are used in the ROM um, yeah, um, GFX files refer to the default sprites and objects and ground tiles etc that come standard with the ROM or modified versions of these things uh, that are inserted normally into the ROM EXGFX files however refer to custom graphics that are made from scratch or are again modified versions of the default graphics from the game uh, that are by definition separate graphics files that can be inserted whenever you wish uh, into whatever levels you wish. Uh, now the thing about GFX files are that they cause permanent changes to the ROM. Any custom graphics saved as a graphics or a GFX file will automatically be found and usable in any level in the ROM that uses the tile set um, uh, in which you save the custom graphics um, uh, without you ever having to tell it to be it that to be that way. Uh, EXGFX files, like I said, can be inserted into specific levels. Uh, so I recommend making your custom graphics EXGFX files to prevent yourself from you know potential potentially regretting making permanent changes to your ROM that you can't really fix easily later. Uh, and that's what I'll be doing here, showing you guys how to make your own custom EXGFX files. Now the method I'll be showing here, keep in mind, won't necessarily be the exact steps you'll have to take uh, you know, doing something, doing anything that has to do with custom graphics for a Super Mario World ROM. Um, depending on your situation, you may have to take, you may have to take completely different steps such as if you're trying to make uh, custom objects or custom uh, ground tiles you will most likely need to use the 8x8 tile editor or the map 16 editor or uh, the 16x16 tile map editor um, or you might have to do something completely different uh, other different steps um, I would be making a, a custom sprite in this tutorial and I won't be needing to use these uh, just to let you know. So just keep in mind that, that the steps I will describe are not universal for every situation. Uh, so let's begin then. Uh, the first steps you'll have to take here uh, involve the mushrooms at the top uh, of these various colors. Uh, you will click the red one first, quick extract GFX from ROM and then you'll click the blue one next uh, quick extract EXGFX from ROM you'll get this message probably uh, no EXGFX are present in the ROM don't worry about that it just means most likely um, it had no there, there were no EXGFX files to go off of in the first place that I could find uh, now you open up Lunar Magic you want to open up not your ROM itself but uh, the contents in one of the folders here uh, located in the same folder as your ROM. The, uh, these folders were not here before. They were created when we clicked on the red and blue mushrooms. Um, the EX graphics folder is empty. Uh, we'll be saving a folder in it later, or a file in it later that we create at the end of the tutorial. You want to open up the graphics folder 
which contains all the graphics in the game. These are, each one here is a different tile set uh, that is used in the ROM. You may, instead of seeing all these various tile sets, all these various files, just see one file called all GFX. If you see that, that is simply because if you go to back to Lunar Magic, go to options here, that is because you left this uh, checked. Use join GFX files. If that is checked, you will see one file called all GFX, which is a massive file containing all the graphics in the game in one big file. If, the, if you leave it unchecked, you will see the various tile sets separated out which you should do if you're creating EXGFX files. Then you can isolate what tile sets you want to work on and just save those as opposed to the entire graphics from the whole game. Now I will be creating a custom sprite uh, that I'll be I'll be replacing the Koopa sprite with my custom sprite. I know for a fact that the Koopas are located in the GFX01 tile set. So I'll open that now. You'll see this. Don't freak out. The graphics are not messed up. Uh, that is simply because YYCHR is on the Sega Genesis setting. You'll need to go down to this pull down list and go to the option 4BPP which stands for 4 bits per pixel SNES. Click on that and you'll see your graphics or objects or whatever is in that tile set pop up and this should appear pretty nicely. However, they are not the correct colors. Uh, again, do not worry. There's a simple fix for this. Um, again, yeah, even if you scroll through these various color palettes down here, nothing will be correct. What you'll have to do is insert the correct color palette straight from a save state from the, from the game, from the ROM. Uh, so you'll have to go to your emulator and start playing your ROM, create a save state, and then upload that save state to YYCHR. So we'll do that right now. Now you'll want to save the save, create the save state in the level that you'll be editing. Lucky for me, I'm editing the first level. So I can just immediately, after this whole intro sequence, go to the first level and quickly save state there. All right. So right here, we'll save state. Click yes. Then we can leave the ROM. We don't. Need to go back right now.